recording in progress. Hello, hello, and welcome, welcome, welcome to this next um, piece of content. I'm Pallavi Valya Raj. And yes, you know, I started uh, sharing some nice pieces of content with you in order for us to become billion dollar asses. I mean, you to become a billion dollar you, for me to become a billion dollar me. And that I think is the natural progression of life because I truly believe that all of us are born to succeed. All of us are born for greatness. And we definitely need to keep working on ourselves uh, if we want to really you know, live that life, live our life to the fullest potential, so to speak. So today, I want to start by asking you a question. Are you an effective and engaging communicator? Do you really think you are that? An effective and engaging communicator. So if you're watching this content on YouTube or Facebook or whichever other platform, please go right ahead and type yes or maybe or a work in progress, WIP. <laughs> That's work in progress in the comment box right now. Okay, so I personally feel that having that ability to really understand the direction of a particular conversation and also the skill to be able to convey our message very, very clearly and precisely is crucial in today's day and age. Don't you think so? And effective communicators are, according to me, not uh, always born with this innate, um, you know, what, what would you say, the, this innate ability okay they're not always born with this ability to wow effectively communicate all the time many of us are constant work in progress we've reached wherever, wherever we've reached with a lot of practice a lot of perseverance so it definitely is an acquirable skill that much I'm, i must tell you but i personally feel that when you're talking about effective communication it's not just about uh, being able to speak well it is definitely about being able to listen well uh, i personally feel that effective communicators are very receptive they are responsive to others inputs Yes, and we all can get there through practice, through perseverance, okay? So when we really um, enhance our communication skills, we can expect our life to become much easier, whether it's ordering food or in the area of really helping someone in an emergency, or whether we wanna express our love for our spouse or our child or our parents, to even uh, presenting in a large forum, every single thing just becomes a lot easier, okay, when we start working on our communication skills. And I feel that strong communicators speak in a very clear manner, uh, in a very direct manner, and also in a language that's very easily understandable, okay. Uh, typically, um, effective communicators are assertive people, assertive with their feelings, their viewpoints, uh, and they also are very open to suggestions and feedback from others, right? I urge you today to understand and adopt the 10 best qualities of effective communicators, so to speak, all right? And uh, this will definitely improve the quality of your life. So really pursue these 10 attributes and you will see the results. It will be for everyone around you to see. So first uh, attribute I think I would love to uh, share with you is listen. We have two ears and one mouth, correct? Does this ring a bell or not? <laughs> so basically the creator was also telling us, hey, if you really want to connect with people, communicate well with people, listen, listen, listen twice as much as you speak. So listen well, listen actively, listen empathetically, uh, taking in whatever people are actually saying permits us to respond appropriately. Yes, we don't react. We don't just listen to reply or to rebut. That's not the way listening should be done. Listening should be for understanding. It needs to happen uh, with this intention of relating to people, of retaining whatever people are saying. And I personally feel that you can start contributing a lot more actively, whether it is in your workplace, your family, your business, or if you're a student um, with your peers, with people around you, your friends, all of this can happen a lot more if you can listen well, listen 
empathetically listen actively and of course if you can also take directions as and when needed all right point number two please relate to others to people okay so people with good communication skills definitely have that ability to um realize what people are trying to say or what they need because they listen carefully they have a very good knowledge of who is it that i'm speaking with because that's when it allows them to really personalize their message for a, a specific audience type, okay, whether it's a room full of people or you're connecting with a group of internet subscribers or you're connecting with your followers or for that matter, you're just having a one-on-one -on -one with somebody close to you. It will definitely allow you to really uh, respond precisely or get to that point of need, okay, where they actually really need you. It's critical to have an understanding of the people we are speaking with because otherwise, without that, I think your words will fall flat. Point number three, effective communicators are trusted by others. So if you are listening intently and you truly believe that effective communicators definitely are trusted more, please type the word trust in the comment box for me because I think they speak with a lot of options authenticity with a lot of honesty they listen carefully and um, typically these are the kind of people who are individuals first run to you know if they need any kind of advice or if they need any kind of suggestions because trust me i mean it's much easier to to speak with somebody who um, makes you feel like your inputs matter it is easier to speak to somebody you think will understand you because they are listening so carefully to you, right? Agree with me? And if you agree with me, yes, you can type agree in the comment box as well, okay? <laughs> Point number four, express freely, express yourself all the time. Please understand the importance of being direct, being expressive. Understand that people want your honest opinions, your honest viewpoints, your honest feelings, and of course, your honest ideas as well. It's very important, um, let's say, you know, during some kind of a project work, okay? Uh, if you are able to express when you think your team or your peers are doing a fantastic uh, job or if you think that they have a fantastic solid plan and you appreciate them for it you encourage them that is appreciated right i mean people really feel that hey this person gets me and at the same time if you know that they are lacking somewhere they something needs to be adjusted then you are um, openly willing to share that as well i mean of course uh, in in an assertive manner being respectful okay that needs to be done in in such a way that uh, even if you agree to disagree with other people, you should remain assertive, you should remain respectful because you owe that much to people, right? So expressing yourself freely yet assertively is critical. It's important. So please do it. Point number five, make yourself available. Make yourself available not every single time, but of course, if somebody needs a really effective communicator or uh, needs somebody who understands and listens and uh, can also give them some sound advice, why not? Don't, please don't leave people hanging, okay? I know a lot of you might not like this example I'm uh, giving you right now, but yes, please don't be that boyfriend or that girlfriend who vanishes and doesn't really answer any texts, doesn't respond to questions for hours together, okay? Don't be that kind of person. Also, don't be the employer who really doesn't have any kind of time to explain um, what what is required of the team? What are the duties, or what are uh, what is the team expected to do? Don't be that kind of parent who expects your team to just understand without really taking the time to explain why, or um, without even listening to their point of view. Okay, so please facilitate comprehensive dialogues, facilitate good conversations, which will obviously. Uh, you know, satisfy to some degree at least everybody around you, okay? So don't be a people pleaser, but please make that attempt to um, express yourself freely at all times. Point number six, have your own style of communication because I think that that having your own style makes your inputs memorable. 
different from the others, right? So when your communication is unique, then obviously people are easily able to remember what is it that you were trying to say to them uh, or when they need another perspective they can easily recall okay whatever whatever you were trying to sh share because you had something different as compared to maybe others what your style of communication should definitely include or may include is your uh, you know inflections in your speech or your voice modulation uh, better known as voice modulation your body language okay your ability to be expressive uh, as far as your facial expressions are also concerned, right? Uh, maybe you can include some humor. Maybe you can include your personal stories. All of these are acquirable skills. So what you just need from time to time is someone to kind of handhold you, to push you and pull you towards becoming that more engaging, memorable uh, communicator. Okay, point number seven. It's very simple, this one. And if you agree with me, then you will type the word simplify in the comment box right now because that's your point number seven simplify 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 the complex okay sometimes messages are difficult to understand they are perplexing they are completely chaotic okay so as an effective communicator you must take these signals you must really make your topic very plain and simple for people to understand you must make it real for people to be able to connect with it okay learn to break down all the information that you have in such a way that most people if not all will understand what you're trying to say so an example if i want to give you let's say a literature professor right they may need to explain or rephrase a poem for their students because hey they're understanding that every student is not in the habit of regularly reading these poetry <laughs> okay different poetry right uh, how many of you also remember your algebra or your statistics teachers in your school or college? You remember them? How they made the most complex things, the most difficult things, intelligible, understandable, more consumable by just breaking it down, right? So that's exactly what we need to be able to do. Point number eight for you, ask a lot of questions, become the question king or question queen if you have to in somebody's life because competent communicators definitely make extensive use of good questions, okay? Um, they are questions which are rich with specifics, okay? They, they demand specifics from people so that they are better able to understand the people who they are connecting with okay and please use answers and not assumptions if you feel that you need to fill any kind of gaps of misunderstanding use answers that you've got from people so my tip to you ask open-ended questions okay uh, ask questions about people's interests let them share their opinions or views or pointers or feelings openly the, the, that's the kind of thing when we talk about open-ended questions all right um, open-ended questions give us an insight into what people need or what they want and then accordingly you can you know package whatever it is that you're offering them and any information that we gather via asking um, people helps us serve people better helps us connect with people more helps us convey our message a lot more powerfully Point number nine is be specific, okay? You're never gonna beat around the bush if you really want to get your message across, yes or no? So please be very clear, be concise. Um, let there be no ambiguity, any vagueness about the point that you're trying to share. Please offer specific directions, ask pointed questions because that definitely doesn't leave any room for misunderstanding. So don't confuse people. Please make it simple for people. So be specific, be clear. Do you agree with that? If you do, type specific and clear in the comment box. And point number 10, in order to be that really effective, engaging, uh, connected kind of a, a communicator, please provide objective and observable feedback, okay? Feedback is never negative, should never be negative. Feedback is constructive. It allows us to grow, okay? Most people these days want to avoid conflict and therefore, because they look at feedback in a negative manner, they do not give feedback, okay? That's something which is uh, a habit that you should do away with always 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 provide feedback because without feedback in a workplace or in life or even about your mother's food or about your child's um, card that your child has made for you without that feedback people won't know how much you care 
you care enough to give them that positive feedback, to, to give them that constructive feedback, which allows them to grow. You've listened carefully and therefore you're able to give them this objective and observable feedback. And also learn to receive feedback in an objective and observable manner, okay? Because giving feedback helps us build trust. It helps us strengthen all these other things that we've spoken about so far. Asking, listening, engaging, responding, all of that comes from or springs from trust, okay? And therefore feedback is my last and um, very, very crucial tip for you. If you have liked whatever you've heard, please go right ahead and write a comment for me. Leave that comment, um, helping me understand what is it that you liked most about this piece of content? What you took away? What are the top three things that you took away? Okay, leave that comment for me. And yes, of course, follow me on YouTube, on all the other social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever else, LinkedIn. Okay, the, Pal the name is Pallavi Valia Raj, every single place. And all you have to do is just search me up. Okay, let's stay connected. If you have any questions for me, ask them because I'll be more than happy to answer them. Do leave that feedback. Mwah. Thank you very much for showering your love on me all the time. Ciao until we meet again.